I'm Marta McCall. Welcome to my channel. On this video, I'll show you how to make snowball pom-poms in three different sizes. We'll do all sorts of cute things with them, like adding them to hats and skinny scarves we make. I'll show you how to make a wrist warmer that you can embellish any way you like. No one will believe that this is a dollar. My ears stayed super warm in this headband. The candles will get cozy too. And a fur ring? Absolutely. Plop your hair up in this cute, simple scrunchie. If you like what you see on this channel, and I hope you do, I would be so grateful if you would like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell. Okay, let's go. Who would have thought you could make snowball pom-poms out of car chamois from the Dollar Tree? I'll show you how to make three different sizes. The largest size is three and a half inches in diameter. To make it, I used a Dollar Tree glass trivet as my template. Definitely use what you have that's about seven and three quarters in diameter. Cut out the circle. Take large three quarter inch stitches. You'll use white, of course. Gather the stitches, but leave room for lots of stuffing. Double check the front side to make sure your pom-pom is nicely round. To close it up, you'll take stitches across and pull tightly. Then diagonally again and again, continuing to pull very tight to make sure the closure almost disappears. Cute, right? That's the biggest size and it looks adorable attached to hats, but you'll probably think of all sorts of other uses for it. To quickly show you how to get the two and three quarter diameter medium size, I used a glass candle holder I had on hand from the Dollar Tree. It's five and three quarters in diameter. Take a slightly smaller stitch, about a half an inch to make this one. And to get the smallest one and a half inch size, use a Dollar Tree votive holder that's two and three quarters in diameter. Here's my super sped up version on how to make them. Cut out your circle, hand stitch all the way around. Gather and stuff with fiber fill. Here's how to close it, stitching across the opening one way and then the other. Continue doing this until the opening is nicely closed and the pom-pom is very round. Tie a knot and leave a long tail. That's it! You'll use one entire chamois to make this super soft, fluffy scarf. Start by folding and pinning the chamois in half the long way. Then cut it in half down the fold. Pin the two short ends together with the right sides facing inward towards each other and sew it by machine or by hand. Now pin all the sides together like this, leaving a four inch section next to the seam open to turn it right side out. It makes hand stitching the closure much easier later when the seam is not involved. Can you believe it? A dollar to keep your neck warm this winter. Very nice. This skinny scarf uses half a chamois and the eight pom-poms are cut out of the other half. Wouldn't it be cute with a few beads sprinkled in? Like the larger scarf, cut the chamois in half the long way. Now take one of those halves and cut it in half the long way. Then sew it by machine or hand and turn it exactly like the large scarf. Make and sew on eight pom-poms. Add other embellishments too. I love seeing candles cozied up for winter. With just a few scraps, you can make little sweaters for your glass and battery candles. Remember I bought these on my Dollar Tree decor haul video? I already had this ribbon in my stash from Dollar Tree. And the burlap too. And the twine. 
Remember the silver ribbon from these large vases from that same video? I keep every little scrap for projects just like this. Cut the chamois to whatever size you like and hot glue it to the back. Add layers of ribbon and twine. These simple cozy candles will warm your space. Honestly, I've got to tell you that this project surprised me a little. When I took this photo, I never imagined how warm this headband is. I kept it on. My ears were toasty. To make it, you'll need part of a chamois and one of those elastic headbands. Cut the full length of the chamois by 3 inches. So only the length by machine or hand, leaving the ends open, a tube. Turn it right side out and fold, pin, and sew one end around the elastic headband. Now do that again with the other end. Cut the elastic like this and while holding the cut ends, try it on and adjust it to your head. Tie a knot, add a little hot glue to secure it if you like, and pull the knot to the inside of one of the folded sides. And there's your super warm and cute headband! Remember that chamois pillow I made in the last video? Well, I decided to embellish it with the smallest pom-poms. It's easy. Make a pile of them. Make sure to leave long tails so that you can use that to sew them on. And that's it. Charming and whimsical. Here's another hair accessory from those fantastic car chamois. Make a scrunchie. Just like the previous headband, you'll need a chamois, or part of one, and an elastic headband. Cut the full length of the chamois by an inch and a half. Sew the long side only by machine or hand to make a tube. To turn it right side out, I use a large safety pin to help. Run that on the inside and work it through like this. Once it's turned, cut the elastic headband and add a safety pin to each side of it and work it through the tube. Tie the ends together in a tight knot and add hot glue to secure it further if you like. Take a few stitches to close the ends together and there you have it. You can use this idea with any fabric you'd like to make a scrunchie. Wear the headband with it or not. These wrist warmers will keep you warm. Make them simple and plain or embellish them. They'd be adorable beaded too. Here's how to make them. The finished width is two and a quarter inches. My pattern template measures two and a half inches by eight inches. My wrist is six and a half. So you'll adjust the length of yours to your own wrist. Fold the chamois on the diagonal and cut the pattern on the fold like this. We need the extra stretch, so cutting this way is important. Here's what your cut fabric should look like. Sew on the dotted lines and leave the center open. Now turn it right side out and whip stitch the opening closed. Now butt the two ends together, don't laugh, that's what it's called, and close this seam with our now famous whip stitch. Add buttons, beads, a pom-pom, or simply leave it plain. Speaking of embellishment, you can make this furry ring in about a minute. Cut the width you like, fit it to your finger, hot glue it while it's not on your finger, and embellish it or not. The added bonus is that they keep your fingers warm. Have fun and thanks so much for watching. See you real soon.